Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform and place a color photo into a retro 60s black and white TV set in front of retro wallpaper. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. This is the wallpaper pattern that will go behind the TV set. It's seamless, which means it can be duplicated and pasted to any side without seams. I downloaded this from allfreedownload.com. You can download it directly from a link I provided in the video descriptions area. Press Ctrl or Command plus A to select the entire image, and Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it. Click on the tab of the 1280 by 720 pixel file, and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it into it. We'll reduce its size by calling up the Transform tool. Press Ctrl or Command plus T. Click on the chain link at the top. This will link the width and height to the same percentages. I'll type in 28% and click Enter or Return to accept it. Go to View and make sure Snap is checked. Press V to call up your Move tool and click on the pattern. Move it up to the upper left corner until it snaps in place. Press Alt or Option to make a copy of it and press Shift as you slide it to the right until it snaps in place. Notice there's no seam. Continue to repeat the process until you have an entire row. To merge all the separate patterns together, press Ctrl or Command plus E until you have one layer with one row. Click on the row and press Alt or Option plus Shift and drag the copy down until it snaps in place. Continue this process until your entire document is filled with the pattern. Now you can merge all the layers together. Go to Filter, Render, and Lighting Effects. The Lighting Effects window will open. Choose Spotlight. We'll set the intensity to 33 and the focus to 81. The gloss will be minus 99 and the material 100. We'll set the exposure to minus 33 and the ambience to 6. Keep in mind, depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics of your pattern, you may want to adjust these properties. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur the wallpaper by one pixel. I found this old TV set online, and to save time, I already cut it out from its background. You can download it directly from the link I provided in the video's description area. To get the TV into the Photoshop document, click down anywhere on the image and drag it up onto the tab of the wallpaper, and with your mouse or pen still held down, drag it down onto the image and release. We need to make a selection of the shape of the inner tube. There are many ways to do this, so choose the one that's the easiest and most effective for you. I'm choosing the Quick Selection tool. I'm using a 4 pixel radius, and then I'll click on the edge of the inner tube and drag in. Go to Select, Modify, and Feather. We'll feather it by one pixel. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer, and click on the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to the empty layer. Click off the chain link to unlink the layer mask with the layer. We're going to place the face inside the empty layer, so now we can independently move the face without the layer mask moving with it. Call up your face file and press Ctrl or Command A to select it, and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Click on the tab of your TV set file and press Ctrl or Command V to paste your face into it. Call up your Transform tool and press Ctrl or Command-0 to see the entire transform on your screen. Go to a corner and drag in to reduce it and place your cursor inside to move it. When you're happy with the size and position, press Enter or Return. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Hue Saturation. Check Colorize and make the Hue 226 and the Saturation 10. Go back to the Adjustment Layer panel and choose Levels. I'll make the input Midtones to 0.76 and the output Highlights to 199. Open the Adjustments panel again and choose Brightness and Contrast. I'll make the Brightness 54 and the Contrast minus 24. 
Keep in mind, your adjustments may differ depending on the characteristics of your image. We're ready to make our scan lines that will make our photo look like TV video. Go to File and New. We'll make our width 1 and our height 4. Make the background transparent and click OK. Press Z to call up your magnifier tool and drag across the document. Call up your rectangular marquee tool and drag across the top quarter. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill the selection with white. Drag a rectangle up to the white. Click on the foreground color and type in 50% for the brightness. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with a 50% gray. Drag a small square in the middle of the gray and press D to make your foreground and background black and white respectively. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with black. Press Ctrl or Command plus D to delete the selection. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. Type in TV Scan Lines and press Enter or Return. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer and press Alt to make a copy of the layer mask and drag it to the top layer. Click on the empty layer to make it active. Go to Edit, Fill, and choose Pattern. Open the Custom Pattern window and choose TV Scan Lines. In the Layers panel, change the Blend Mode to Overlay. Click on the FX icon and choose Outer Glow. Change the Blend Mode to Luminosity and the size to 24 pixels. Click on the color box and choose a light blue. I'm choosing B6D FFF. Slide the opacity to 100% and click OK. Let's brighten up the hair a little bit. Click on the face layer to make it active and go to Image Adjustments Shadows Highlights. We'll increase the shadow amount to 35% and leave the highlights at zero. Have fun transporting people you know back in time when black and white ruled the airwaves. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.